I was born and raised in a semi-rural military town called Gilgil, Kenya, which is two hours away from Nairobi. My dad had a pharmacy in Gilgil. And one of the most, the coolest things was just sitting in on consultations because you had people coming in to see my dad about a sick cow. And then on the other end, you'd have someone coming in to consult regarding um, like a newborn. And I think from then, I remember very clearly knowing that I wanted to be able to to help people. And I loved how watching how my dad was helping a lot of people. And I moved to the U.S. at the age of 14 just to continue my education here. As an undergrad, I studied microbiology, and I also did a co-major in international studies. And I always found myself gravitating to adding something else on. So I took community health and development, and I remember uh, discovering that I really was passionate about healthcare and I was passionate about the youth and began to lay the foundation for a project called My Africa, My Voice that I started uh, right after completing my undergraduate degree. So My Africa, My Voice is a project that is focused on youth activism for healthier communities. One of the things that we first do is we go into classrooms and we talk to the students about what they think the biggest issues are in the community. We take the idea that a lot of the youth find to be most important and we mentor them through the imp implementation of that project. And after starting the project, My African My Voice, I was introduced to an organization called the Harambe Entrepreneur Alliance, an organization that identifies young African professionals from different parts of Africa. I got to see people who are not just at the idea stages of how they wanted to leave a legacy, but they were in the trenches working to improve lives. And one of the things that I noticed was a lot of the individuals who were there had some kind of background in business, and many of them actually had MBAs, and like I would listen to them talking and I would really love the idea. And then they would get into the technicalities of the how they were doing it. They would talk about supply chain management and, and marketing and all of these things. And this is, I couldn't connect the dots beyond a certain point. And that planted a seed in my mind that maybe an MBA would be something that I could do sometime later down the line. Um, after the first years of medicine, I began to feel as if I really needed something else. I had worked so hard to get into medical school and then after getting into medical school then I realized that I hadn't quite defined what that next vision was to propel me to the next stage of, of my life. I needed something else to kind of help me think about the broader ideas behind whatever it is that I was doing. So you realize that in order to address issues at the community level it takes a more interdisciplinary approach and you need not just a physician to take care of the, the sick patient, you also need someone who knows how to manage a project at that level. Um, you also need someone else who might understand how the finances of a nonprofit need to run, Some, someone with some knowledge in accounting. And coming to the MBA program really helped me appreciate that so much more. And it's almost like this really cool full circle opportunity to connect a lot of dots and it's really enabled me to reflect on the dynamics that exist on a more macro level and I think taking that approach allows someone to establish sustainability within the community in terms of the projects that you put forth. I really feel like I have a renewed vision.